So maybe you've seen QR codes by now. Uh, if you go to Google Images and type in QR codes, you're going to see uh, tons of images pop up and d people using them in different ways. They're huge in advertising. Uh, people are putting them everywhere. Uh, this video isn't about you know exactly what QR codes are. Uh, if, you, if you're not familiar with what QR codes are, you can do a search on uh, Google and you'll find tons of information uh, and articles and things about QR codes. Uh, search uh, the Warrior Forum. I believe there's a well, there is a WSO going on right now that goes into detail about uh, how to use them and things like that if you want more ideas. But um, QR codes um, are on the rise here, at least in the United States. Uh, they're bigger in other parts of the world, such as Japan. Uh, but I suggest uh, do a little research, see see how people are using them, how they work, and then uh, think about um, what it would be like if you uh, could generate easily unique QR codes for local businesses. Here's some examples of business cards with QR codes. Part of this process I want to show you is creating your own, uh, or what I'd like to suggest is create your own Q QR code, put it on your business card, and then give it to the local business owners that you're trying to reach. Uh, this is a, an amazing way to grab their attention, but uh, what you're going to do is you're going to tell them they can create the, their own QR code on your website. So, um, uh, and I'm going to show you what that looks like. Here's a little WordPress site I threw up, and um, and here's the basic, uh, you know, the template that comes standard. I created a quick page. I dropped in my QR code uh, uh, HTML snippet on the on the page, and now I have a form that will allow me to generate a QR code. So I'm going to fill in this form real quick. So I filled in the form, and I'll go to the next screen, which gives us a couple more options. Uh, this QR code generator, this is the only one I know of. There might be another one that I haven't seen, but you can actually change the, the foreground color of your code. Um, it's good to have it the foreground color a darker color, and then you can make your um, background color a lighter color. But, um, let me type in some real information here. So I've typed in, um, this is text, and you'll see in a second, this is text that goes above and below the QR code, so that when you see the code, it will generate it with a little extra information. So if I go ahead and click Create uh, QR Code, you'll see that um, it's generated the code, and all the data that I plugged into this form here, all this contact information, has been embedded in the code, in this QR code. So you can scan this with the smartphone and uh, collect this information. Uh, this is the type of thing you might put on your business card or, or your advertising. So, uh, And then you'll see it automatically added the, the optional lines of text above and be below the image. Now, I just did an example of creating a code for yourself. But remember, this system is on your own website. So you would tell, let's say, Offline Consultant, that's your website. Um, you could tell people to go to your website, offlineconsultant.com, and uh, or whatever it is, and create their own QR code. And so they'll fill out this form, and as they're filling out the form, they enter. They want to test this thing out, so they're entering all their uh, contact info. Uh, whatever information they put into this form, and after they submit it, you get an email uh, sent to you with that contact information. So what we're looking at here is uh, an offline business uh, lead generator. So you see, if they fill out all the information in this form, you'll see, um, let's do another example here. Okay, so I filled in the information. I just made up some additional information here. Uh, imagine there's a pizza shop. I haven't generated the code yet, regenerated it, but I plugged in uh, the Pizza Guys company, their phone number, so you you gave this guy a business card or they found you on the web somehow um, and they want to they wanna generate a QR code and they can do this for free on your website. So you automatically appear as the authority on this issue as for QR codes. You, you position yourself as someone um, that's an expert. 
uh, because you have this on your website. And so they fill in the information, they uh, go in here, and then they can put in their text, and they generate the QR code. And you'll see it says Pizza Guys, and then whatever they want on the bottom. And this is, I created a, a contact QR code. And so by doing that, you just received an email that had all of this information in it. So you got this guy, the name, company, phone number, email, all this information was emailed to you as soon as they clicked that button. So this becomes an amazing lead generator. You can choose to follow up with that person, email them, call them, uh, whatever you like, and then you can just simply ask them, hey, how did that QR code work? You know, is there, do you have any questions? Do you, can I, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, imagine the, the lead in. This is a warm lead now because they've used your website. You're the expert and you're there just to help them. So you can make your money off of consulting with them on how to use this, you know, creating advertising campaigns, printing the, you know, the table tents or the flyers that go on the pizza boxes or whatever this company does. So the ideas are limitless. So let's look at, we have several other options here for creating QR codes. We can just do free text. They could type in, you know, uh, just text like this and um, type in their web address. And, uh, you know, th and then this could take them, uh, if you've looked at QR codes, you can see that you can do lots of different things. So when, when they scan this, it'll be a hyperlink that'll go to their website. Um, you, you could s give them a coupon. Uh, something else I recommend is create an SMS QR code. You have more than one. So you type in the, um, the phone number for the SMS um, service. It could be a short code or it could be a long code. And uh, if you haven't seen my simple SMS script, you can use this hand in hand with this uh, service, be a service you can provide to local businesses so they can uh, manage and send messages to their own uh, SMS subscriber list. And then the message might be a keyword, so pizza. So what, what you do then is you go in here and set this up with some information like this. Okay, so you can see that I entered um, the text uh, below now. It says best pizza in the city. Text pizza to, and then the number. Actually, it'd probably be do some better to do something like this. So now you can see I updated it. Uh, so the QR code reads, or below the, the text below, I've typed in get a free pizza. Text pizza to, and then um, to the number. And that's what this QR code does. So when they scan this with their phone, it'll create a text message with the keyword pizza in it addressed to the phone number that you want. So you just saved them a lot of time. You made it really easy for them to get on your text message list. And um, this also is a great eye catcher. This is something you don't see a lot yet here, at least here in the U.S. Uh, but it's going to catch their eye because it's new, it's different, and um, when they see this, I mean, it's going to catch on. This is huge in countries like Japan, and people automatically look for this stuff in Japan. Um, here, here in other countries, it's catching on, and so whether it's new or whether it's been around for a while, it's an eye catcher, and it's a convenient uh, service. So uh, when you buy this uh, service, you get to embed this uh, generator in your website and every time someone fills out this form you get an email okay so here's an example of the email here's um, the code I just generated where I typed in pizza guys and get a free pizza and all that type of stuff so um, every time I do that uh, you get or every time someone does that on your website, you get that, that all that information is sent to you. So let's look at the one, the contact one. So here we see all the info I typed in, all my contact information, what company I'm with, all the settings I used on my QR code. Everything's there so that you can talk them to them about, the, you know, answer their questions and on and on. So this, um, and in fact, 
I believe it, it'll get to the point where you don't actually have to call them. You just put it on your website, hey, have questions? Call us now or email us. And you're going to have people, uh, because you're the authority on this issue and they see what else you have to offer on your website, um, this is going to be a great um, addition to your site. So check out the rest of the information on this page about how to get started and I um, and, uh, hope to be working with you on this soon. Thanks.